Is Netflix better with or without ads? Well, that depends who you are. One of Netflix's great attractions compared to conventional linear television is that you don't get interrupted by a series of ads every 15 minutes or so. That's about to change. Not for everyone, but for anybody who doesn't want to pony up the $15 that a standard US subscription might cost, Netflix is going to roll out an ad-supported tier starting in 2023. It'll be cheaper, but you will have to stomach a few commercials every now and then. It is, of course, the model that used to support all media. Magazines, newspapers, radio, television, even your buses were partly subsidized by the ads that peppered them. Back in 2006, the New York Times was able to charge its subscribers an average of $534 a year, but it made an additional $1,064 a year from advertisers. In fact, it was able to keep its subscription fees broadly flat as ad prices increased. Those economics have largely been unpicked in the years since by the arrival of ad tech giants like Google and Facebook, who between them hoover up the lion's share of advertising spending. That has in turn heralded the arrival of subscription services such as Netflix, Disney Plus and HBO Max as media companies seek new business models. But those companies come with their own problems. As long as they're dependent upon subscriptions alone, their growth potential is restricted by the number of subscribers they can attract and how much they can charge them. And both of those numbers are getting squeezed by the increasing pressure on people's wallets and mounting competition in online streaming as broadcasters pile into the space. In fact, Netflix lost almost 2 million subscribers in North America in the first six months of 2022 alone. Having an ad-supported tier may help solve both of those problems. It, of course, makes a subscription more affordable. Bloomberg News has reported that Netflix plans to charge $7 a month, about half as much as the standard subscription rate. That should attract more subscribers, or at the very least, reduce the hemorrhage of existing ones. It might also make it easier to make more money from each subscriber without having to increase the price of a subscription. Take Hulu, the streaming service controlled by Disney. It makes $6.50 a month in ads for every user on its ad-supported tier, in addition to the $7 subscription fee it charges, according to an estimate from Bloomberg intelligence analyst Geeta Ranganathan. If Netflix charges $7 a month and can make a similar amount in ads, it'll already be making considerably more than it does from its current entry-level subscription, which is $9.99. What's more, if it can increase the amount that it charges advertisers over time, investors will get excited about its growth prospects. This all heralds a massive change for online streaming and has the advertising industry brimming with excitement. They long considered streaming services aversion to ads a colossal missed opportunity to flog people more stuff. Yes, there were offerings such as Fox's 2B and Amazon's Freebie that were 100% ad funded, but other services have joined the party in recent years. Netflix and Disney Plus were the biggest holdouts, but have both now come on board. Many of the top streaming services now have more subscribers on the ad supported tier than on the pricier ad free one. Why? Well, the secret might be that new media is discovering something that old media knew long ago. Ads are lucrative. If you've got a committed audience, you might even be able to charge advertisers more over time. You might not like ads, but Netflix might find that they're actually better for its business.